We got one of these. We got two of these. Enough said, right? Oh, I'm a wanna turtle. is up i'm a wanted turtle and today we have another hidden fates opening we are getting closer and closer i believe it's been three videos in a row that we've picked up one card that we need for that master set and uh yeah we're gonna keep pushing our luck i hope we didn't jinx us but we have 20 packs from these two great ball collections two zorarks that card looks amazing so much better than the metagross uh, with the Ultra Ball. So definitely the one that we prefer. Hope everyone's having a good day. We are getting right into our first pack. And um, yeah, we'll probably do another update on the progress of the Master Collection. But uh, yeah, it's been a nice, uh, strong, a few good openings together. And uh, yeah, starting to, starting to, Pick off those last few cards. Uh, we do have a Wigglytuff, which is we got a Wigglytuff. All right, <laughs> we're gonna keep going. It is ridiculous how difficult it is to put this set together, and when you think about it, like the uh, the shiny shiny vault, you know what it's like 90, 90 something cards. And there's only one slot in it, in the pack that you get it, and you don't always get it. Get a shiny vault at all. That is very difficult. Um, yeah, there's just so many. It's like almost in a way, it's like 90 something secret rares. That is ridiculous, but uh, I feel like that's what's gonna put set this, put this set like just on another level. Um, for all like the specialty sets, you know, shining. Shining Legends, Dragon's Majesty, you know, this one is just way better and I doubt they're going to be able to reproduce this kind of hype in a set for some period of time. Uh, Tag All-Stars, I believe is going to be in March and I guess we'll see. Ooh, Frogadier. I feel like people are excited about that for like the new gold, golden cards, but I highly doubt it'll be as popular as this one. Frogadier, pretty good card. Not bad. So these are from the... Great ball collection, so they do not feature like the super glossy or the textured shinies. All that's important is that we pull those remaining cards. Unfortunately, Frogadier was not one of them, but uh, hey, we also have to get a good amount of hits as well, so we'll take it. We have a Cubone, a Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Bill's Analysis, pretty good card, and Brock's Grit. For the reverse so for the master set as far as like binder collections go i've just been focused on the gx's and then the shinies however i think once we put it together um i could see the appeal i've seen some stuff on reddit and uh where people showed off their master collections even including the you know the hidden fate set and then the reverses so maybe I will put that together. We'll just have to get a binder specifically for that, just because the set is so big. Ergus Hospitality, and then a Jinx. Obviously, this is where the where the part that's going to be the hardest, which is the you know all the shiny all the shiny Vault cards. So we're not going to worry about the Hidden Fate set until after that. I'm sure we'll just have to dig through some cards, and I'm sure we can put it all together. And, oof, so far this is really rough. All we have to show is a Wigglytuff and a Frog Deer. And we are churning through our first box. You know, these, these Great Ball collections have been super hit or miss. And unfortunately, this one feels like... Oh, I thought we were going to turn around right there. Feels like a big miss. We are halfway, past halfway. I think it's pack number seven. We're gonna need a double whammy pack soon to catch back up. Hope everyone's doing well and uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, do definitely do me a favor, hit that like button 
and because it does help uh, you know reach new viewers and allow the community to expand shout out to everyone on discord if you do want to join the conversation there simply click the link down below all right this is very rough not gonna lie had high hopes you know we're on this hot streak and uh, this is not how you follow it up. All right, Brock's grit. All right, we need some grit. Chansey, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Clefable, and a Misty's Gym. And these cards are actually, I feel like they're kind of warped as well. They're not new, but they're not old either. All right, this is about, about almost wrapping up this box. All right. Magmar, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Justin E. Ooh, all right, we got something. Oh, nice. There are very few cards that can turn around any opening and Cynthia definitely is one of them. I would say Cynthia is one of the two. Guzma is pretty up there. Actually, um, Lele. Probably Lele would do it as well. But I really like this. It's interesting how this one, despite the fact that the Ultra Prism is older, this one is much more popular. Although it's hard to argue with Shiny Lucario back there and a Garchomp as well. So, boom! There we go. I believe we have one more pack for this box, and even if we only end up with those three hits, um, you know, definitely still a little disappointed about the rest of the packs, but we will take the Cynthia and run. All right, Joy, Metapod, Slowpoke. Whoa, look at this. I've seen crimped cards. How does this happen? Oh my. That would be like a nightmare if it was actually a good card. So, hopefully, the rare and the reverse are not damaged. Lapras, the very boring Lapras, and Slowpoke. It's okay, it's a dud pack. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all we had for that was a Frogadier, Wigglytuff, but we did get a Cynthia, so. Alright, let's get much better ratio in this second box so we've been doing a ton of openings recently and I have to say that it feels like the recent wave of tins is much better than previously even compared to I would say the ETBs definitely the pin collections um, yeah better than the first wave of tins uh, the premium collection I, I had a very good experience with as well So I feel like the rates have increased with the newer stuff So if you are lucky enough to find some in the store Maybe consider picking up especially if they have some kind of sale some kind of promotion You know target has every once in a while the spend 100 save 25 So I still think that hidden fates is a good pickup if they have those going on Snorlax into whooper I am becoming a bigger and bigger fan of Wooper. He always just looks so happy. All right, we got a Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Jesse, and James. Such a great art and a pretty good card as well. Pardon all the background noise. Let's see, so far we have two cards. Two hits for our box number two. Graveler, Eevee. 
Hatter P. Charmander. Erica's Hospitality. Ooh, a Wimpod. I feel like we're starting to pull a good amount of Wimpods all of a sudden. And I don't mind that at all. I do like Wimpod. But, uh, oh, we gotta focus up on Eye on the Prize. We need to find some of the cards that we're still missing. Stoked about the Cynthia, but uh, let's get the ones we don't need. But actually, you know what the way we should be looking at is we got a full art supporter. That is a win. But uh, maybe, so we'll target those shinies that we need. Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Zapdos. Oh, we haven't pulled a... So we haven't pulled a Vaporeon yet. What are the chances we will get our Vaporeon for every opening? That streak, I bet, has been healthy for quite a while. And not that I want to maintain it, but I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm on the confident side that we will be able to. Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Kangaskhan, and Jolteon. It's close, close. Alright, only four packs remaining. Super light on hits on both boxes. These, uh, these, these ball collections were kind of like in the middle of the launch, like the last one right before the Super Premium Collection. And uh, I think this one was probably my least favorite. I did like the tins because you had a bunch of different promos and, you know, it wasn't that expensive. Well, it has like the same pack per ratio, but I feel like it's much more, um, you know, catered towards like spontaneous pickups. Versus these, which are MSRP for fifty dollars, uh, you know, definitely not as good as the Super Premium, and uh, so I feel like the tins are a little bit better. ETB I still maintain has the best single promo, while the Premium Fates definitely has that awesome collection figure as well as a large number of three really good promos. But I would put the birds on top. <laughs> there he is. I knew Vaporeon was coming. He always does. Oh, shiny Garchomp to go with our Cynthia. Oh, okay. So the Garchomp is um is shiny as well. Very nice. All right. So that's about four. All right. Let's just if we get one more, it will just be a average box. Maybe slightly below average because so far we haven't pulled a GX or anything. But at least we got a good number of hits. Alright, Jinx, Charmeleon, Chansey, Pikachu, Pickens, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Kangaskhan, Ooh, Jolteon. Alright, last pack. Rough opening. Rough opening. Won't lie, like, we had so much momentum going that, uh... <clears throat> I was feeling super amped and I'm slightly discouraged by the results of this. Let's see if we can't get a pick me up to wrap up the video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and appreciate all the support that everyone has given the I Want a Turtle channel. It's been a blast creating this content for you and looking forward to much more in the future. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Ooh, Poiple, we'll take it. That's a pretty good one. Can swag out some of our um, Naganado decks. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.